there. She's trying to Nala. traumatize, trying to hang herself on the edge. There's the mic and the cookies over there. She's our whisperer. <laughs> Alright, so beginning of day two. Got in late last night, 11 o'clock. First time setting up the RV. And it was a bit disastrous. Following the three hours it took me to get this set up correctly that took way longer than I thought so you can so we had to use the shop back last night and so what happened was is when I was working on the camper I left this faucet open so when I turned the water on turned the water on it flooded the front of the RV yeah So at midnight, we got the shop back out, uh, trying to get everything cleaned up, dried out. We got towels everywhere. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a complete fiasco. Uh, tired, stressed out, and then, so, so the, you know, so I'm trying to hook the water up at the beginning, and so my water filter. I had the actual filter in upside down. So I couldn't get any water. Couldn't figure out why. So then we're looking around and now this is leaking. Which had not leaked at the house. So now it's leaking. So we got to get that figured out. Um, yeah. So welcome to RV life. <laughs> starting off with the bang of life in an RV. Uh, it's going, it's, it's getting better. <laughs> Our setup is getting better. It's uh, it, interesting getting uh, acclimated to all the different things that are required to live in an RV. I think we're kind of getting the hang of it. So we're here in Bushnell, Florida, at a RV place uh, right off exit 109, 575. Can't remember the name of it. But we're just here. We're gonna hang out with my mom this week, and they'll be headed to Pensacola uh, later in the week. Hopefully, we'll get a ride in this week. My shoulder is is still pretty rough. It's day three, so I woke up this morning and super stiff. But I am getting some range of motion back, so I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get a ride in at least Santos. And uh, yeah, just have some fun work down here. Sweat. I don't know why people live in Florida. I, I grew up in Florida. It is absolutely miserable, the humidity. You don't even do anything. All you do is sweat. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, so, if you guys have been watching us recently, you know that Frank had a pretty hardcore crash. And, what was that, three days now? Four days? This will be day four. Press onward, just like this sign says. <laughs> So we are in uh, visiting his mom in Bushnell, Florida, and there's rails to trails. So since Frank really, we want to go ride Santos, and I want to go ride Bomboy yet while we're here. I don't know, though, because Frank can hardly <clears throat> move. <laughs> but we need to stretch our legs. So um, his legs will be pretty good. He's just hanging on and breathing is what's going to hurt him. So we're just going to take it easy, ride some rails to trails. Uh, super hot, but we're from Florida, so we're used to it. They have a heat index of 105 today but uh and it's already 10 a.m because we're slow to get up and slow to get moving and hence camping who I'm cares slow. <laughs> slow. <laughs> i'm slow too so uh this is interesting though so here is the <clears throat> rails to trails sign and uh so i'm not sure how much of it will actually ride uh they have a nice little area here for people to hang out and it talks about the DeSoto trail so apparently Fernando DeSoto and his expedition 
like the ships went here where we're at uh, near Tampa and Orlando and then they came back out and went to Tallahassee and then they went over to Pensacola which is exactly where we're headed next um, however we will not be taking a ship route duh <laughs> <laughs> So one thing that you don't see in other places is this Spanish moss. It's not as destructive as kudzu up there in South Carolina, but it does kill the tree that it lives on. I mean, it looks neat. All right, guys, this is going to freak me out. I'm going to try to get close without startling her because if she moves, I'm going to buck. Oh my God. I'm going to buck. Yeah. So these are the, we have um, orb weavers in upstate South Carolina. Uh, I, I can't say the actual, you know, scientific name for them, but they call them zigzag spiders or zipper spiders. Um, the, and, but the ones here, they call them banana spiders because they are yellow. I don't know how well you can see her. She is at least from top of, you know, her abdomen is about an inch. So she's actually pretty small. And the little ones around her, those are the males that are waiting to breed with her and then be eaten. Um, and then she will lay her eggs and die. But their webs are so massive. I've run into them before. Like it goes from like, it's pulling this moss branch over. So she's connected to that. And then, yeah. Yeah, easy. They'll, they'll cover a 20 foot span. Hey, dude. Site of Floral City Railroad Department, 1893 to 1949. Okay, so we got the With La Coochie State Trail. It's 46 miles in length, runs through small towns, ranches, rural areas, from Citrus Springs to Trilby. Last train during the phosphate craze of the late 1800s, Floral City's population grew to one of the largest in the state. Most residents were mine laborers. The last train departed in 1987 and the tracks were removed. In 1989, CSX Transportation sold 46 miles of right-of-way to the state to become one of the first corridors in the Rails to Trails program. So we went 11 and a half miles. Uh, which way are we headed? North, south, east? South. South. So, like I said, we're just out seeing if Frank can ride. He's doing okay, just, but it always makes us feel better to be out riding our bikes. Anytime we're having mental fog, separation, pride issues, anger, it always helps us to just get on our bikes and ride regardless of... I'm gonna ride. Yep, just ride. She's eating a bumblebee. Uh-oh, the little male saw me.
I just wanted to record these because I have no idea what they are. There's a couple of these trees planted along the route. Looks like there's one there, one down there, a little further down. I saw them on the way in over here though, so I'll look it up when I get home. The clouds are always quite impressive in Florida. And it seems like every day around noon to two o'clock they roll in and bring thunderstorms. All right, everybody loves a good horror story, right? So we got the great train wreck of 1956. Wow, that does look pretty horrible. Look at that. You are standing on the site of one of the worst train disasters in Florida history. The, the tragedy occurred October 18th, 1956 on a dark and foggy morning. How do you say this? Pineo... Pineola? 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 How do you say this town? P-I-N-E-O-L-A. One thing I'm good at is butchering names of places. Don't worry, Washington State. I'm on the way. Uh, at 5.12 in the morning, people from five miles around were awakened when two freight trains collided head-on. Holy smokes. The trains loaded with perishables and dry goods were traveling on the same track full speed at 49 miles per hour. Hey, I did this math project. Do you remember that? If two trains are traveling at 49 miles an hour, <laughs> realizing they were on a collision course, the Nellen dispatcher Braddock phoned Croom Station Agent Cooper, telling him to get in his car and go see what you can find. Cooper and fellow Agent Thomas raced 90 miles per hour on an ungraded road to alert the engineers, but did not reach them in time. At the sight of the oncoming headlight, the northbound train engineer slammed on emergency brakes as he yelled to his assistants to brace themselves for the crash. Four engines and 16 cars derailed. Four crewmen died with fire engulfing the scene. Firefighters and hearses came from far, as far away as Tampa to offer assistance. Ironically, this tragedy might have been averted if recently installed radios had been put to use. However, engineers had agreed to not use them until they received additional pay as radio operators. Well, there you go, Union. One of the casualties, engineer BJ Martin of number 237, had been a leader in the holdout. So they're throwing him under the bus in honor of who lost their lives in this tragic event. Okay, let's see if I can not run into a spider. Look at the size of these things. Uh, how big that is. Please don't get bit by a snake. They're huge. These are like literal elephant ears. So here we are at Santos Mountain Bike Trails, California, Florida. And this is where it all began for me. Where I learned how to ride mountain bikes. A long time ago. Now this was here. When I rode out here. Used to be nothing but a dirt parking lot. Well, when she wrapped her loving arms around my neck on the dance floor at Chelsea's bar, I should have turned her away, but how was I to see? I was fired, she was gasoline. Both sad and lonely after what death had done. We're like rattlesnakes kicked across the ground. Our true loves were dead and our hearts were full of grief. 
I was firing, she was gasoline. Good God, I was firing, she was gasoline. But we helped each other out, Lord, to eat some of the pain. Best friends and lovers most of the time. But I would go mad when she would turn mean. I was firing, she was gasoline. Yeah, I was firing, she was gasoline. Go. Woohoo! I said, this is Bunny. Bunny used to be my favorite trail. Remember, I used to ride the sink as fast as I possibly could. Stay together or apart But it's hard to be alone And the future sing I was firing She was gasoline But when we got locked up In the Chester County Jail We both knew it was too far out of hand Look at you! You like the shade? I just want to get your picture. Hey everybody! Alright, so we are out riding in this extreme heat in Florida. We are down near Tampa in a nature preserve called Bon Boyette. Um, it's a very popular uh, bike park, so I guess you can call it a bike park. It's right down the street from Alafaya. Yeah. So, um, I remember this place being pretty fun. A lot of whoop dees So, I look forward to riding this. Prayers for strength for Frank today. This will be his first challenging ride since the crash. And uh, so, ideally, he will just get enough momentum going down that he'll reach the peak of the next one. All right. So, Nemesis. I hope somebody was in here spider catching earlier. I'm not going to be going fast. Okay, good. I see tire tracks. So this is called Loch Ness. And we got loose sand. Wood features, little branches, swamp where it looks like there might be gators. Gear down, steep climb. Okay. nice they give you a warning so now we're gonna go ride spider berm and gator pit that might be a gator could be a stick This is spider berm. You know that you got it. Tight. <laughs> Oh, 
that's right. into the woods. Probably a golf cart somewhere, kind of like in Pensacola. They have one called newspaper or newsstand, and there's a, a news journal dispenser up in the woods, which is random. I think I remember this part being pretty awesome. Stay to the left on that one, honey. You can roll it. Entrance, one way only. I float, therefore I am. <laughs> Canyon. Swamp Mountain Bike Club. This one is one way traffic. Remember this one we gotta go kind of fast. Oh, it was a deer. Huh. I got to see a deer now. I'll warm up a little bit. wet out here still. trails are all connected by these large grassy flat areas. It is a very cool trail system that definitely offers 
some highly technical trails. Serpentine. Maybe there's a lot of drops right here. So take your time. So we're just going to head back. We're going to skip south of this. We just, you know, I want to ride, but I also don't want my husband, you know, to be in so much pain. When you're healing, you just got to take it easy. And he would do the same for me. And that's, you know, I got to remember it's not to be selfish. But I have seen a lot of really cool critters. We were just up there at the top and all of a sudden we heard this huge splash. So pretty sure that was a gator. So we left. Yes, this place, like, I mean, I've seen some horror stories about gators, and so, I don't know, that's just creepy. Like, I'm riding, like, so nice and slow, just in case I see one, I can stop and get out of this way. goes honey he's like excuse me coming through he's like fine I'll go around oh my gosh that's too funny <laughs> dude it's cruising okay so post video is in the truck in the air conditioning after we have drink water and put ice packs on our necks. <laughs> Hot. You guys, oh my lord, it is miserable. Um, I mean, we it was- We forgot how hot Florida is. And we're from Florida, you know, like we, I don't know. It's just, I guess we were- It's a different we, kind of hot. We underestimated it. <laughs> I underestimated it. It was a lot of fun though. I love Bon Boyette. I love the whoopties. Um, but because we, you know, didn't bring snacks and hadn't had lunch yet, it was best with the heat to kind of skip the ridge line trail that they have out here. Um, but we did do South Abyss, North Abyss, which were the ones I remember and were fun and they're still fun. So, yeah. Yeah. Good trail system. Yeah, really fun. So, all right, guys, it is time to uh, pack up and we're going to head a little further north to Pensacola to see family. We will not be riding there. <laughs> there is no need. No. And uh, then we'll start trekking out west. So we'll see you guys next time.